and welcome back to our channel. So we thought while we're staying here in Disneyland, we thought we'd do a room tour. We're staying in the Hotel Cheyenne. We, it's our first time here. We're having a lovely stay. Normally we do our room tours on the very first day when we get here. Yeah. Um, but we kind of thought, we were tired first day anyway, <laughs> but we kind of thought it would be good to do it a few days in. So we've kind of experienced the room a little bit as well. Yeah, so we can actually point out the, like, the good and the bad things too. Yeah. We've stayed at Santa Fe and we've stayed at Sequoia Lodge mm. and so far this is my favourite resort. Yeah, I agree. It's um, really nice. The mattress, uh, well it's, it's been refurbished, yeah. you can tell it's been refurbished. The mattress is super comfy, Yeah. Um, the rooms are warm, we're in October at the minute so it's getting a bit chilly. They're warm but they're not too warm, Yeah. so like because you can go from one extreme to the other can't you, but uh, yeah like there's a ceiling fan which we'll show you in a minute, the ceiling fan we think has been turned off. Um, which is understandable considering we're in October, we're in October. Um, but like if you do get a bit warm, you know, you can. The, we're on the ground floor, you can open the window anyway. Um, and you can also, I think even well. if you're on the, yeah, there is aircon. Yeah, so I just think it's, it for me, like I feel I feel like we've really struggled with temperature in the past two hotels, whereas this feels just, <laughs> just right, um, like Goldilocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so it's been a great day so far. Um, should we do a room tour first? Mm. Okay, so we are, on the ground floor we're in building 11 which is running bare each building has got like a name basically a number and a name as well yeah. and it's all kind of in with the theming of like the wild west um so yes yeah, so ours is running bare. <laughs> there's one called sitting bull mm, go um, the kid yeah like they're really really good fun names as you come in we are are we 1105 yes so we're 1105 and um, we're on the ground floor one thing to mention, if you want to be closer to the parks, this is one of the buildings which is the closer walk to the park that I would say the other side of the resort. Yeah. Um, literally from our window you can see the path that takes you into the Disney Village. So for us, on a walk back from the park, <laughs> after we've done like 20,000 steps a day, it's really nice to know that your room is kind of one of the first ones that you come to. Yeah. I think if you were to do like the dining plan where you'd get breakfast included you might want to be closer to the main building i think so yeah because obviously in the morning you then you'd have to go to the main building and then come back and come then back. leave um, we haven't done a dining no. plan so this has been great for us yeah um but yeah that is something to think about if you've got a dining plan then you want to be a bit closer to the main building and um some of the other buildings are obviously a lot closer to there so as you come in we've got we've got what does this do the back? oh this does this main light here <laughs> light switch here on the right hand side with one of the um card uh, slot, slots that you kind of put your card in so that the electricity works in the room. Yeah. When you take this out, it, everything does go off, so including um, the air, air conditioning, <laughs> all the lights and everything like that as well. So uh, that's worth knowing. But you can also, if you wanted to, put another card in there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. But obviously it's good for the environment to kind of take it out when you go. This was this pillow was actually on the bed, wasn't it? That was in one of the drawers. Ah, okay, yeah, that was in the yeah. So this we there was basically there's two pillows on the bed each, so on each side of the bed, and then there's also two spare pillows, and this is one of the spare pillows up here. The other one is in the drawers down here. Worth mentioning that they did this did start off in the drawers too, but I took it out because I wanted more space for my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's up there. Um, so we've got coat hangers. Seven, eight, about eight coat hangers. Um, there's only one of the ones with the clippies on. Um, clippies. But yeah, I see, I, I like a clippy coat hanger. Do you? You'll notice we haven't hung any of our clothes on this yeah. trip. We've just put them in the drawers. Yeah. But um, we've got a safe down here as well. It's one of the digit ones, so I'm assuming you put your own number in. Yeah, you, you generally just close it, put whatever number in, and then that's the number that you would then put in to open it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Again, we've not used this this yeah, time. That's my bag. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, one thing I would I would say is like no one said we were pointing out the, the good and the bad things. There's no ironing board or iron here. There isn't, no. And there's no hair dryer from what I can gather either. Well there's this. Oh yeah. I'm so, in the bathroom at the minute, so yeah. there's there's this. But if you want if you want a, a hair, hair dryer, dryer that's you know, a bit more powerful, I just bring I always bring my own anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's my hair dryer and straighteners on the side there. They don't come with the room. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, then we've got a shelf up here if you want to put, store anything up there. We've got a little kind of like vanity unit I would guess here with two plugs on this side. Um, this is just one obviously, um, these are European plugs. We brought one of our UK adapters. There's also a plug underneath as well. Yeah. 
Um, one thing we did say, we thought it would be really good to have a mirror here. Yeah. I've kind of gravitated towards doing my hair here. Yeah. Um, because of the, the, because there's quite a few plugs here. It would have been great to have had a mirror there. There isn't. There is a mirror in the room, um, but it's over on the other side of the room, which we'll show you in a minute. But um, but yeah, so that's just not got any drawers in it or anything. It's literally just a little cabinet. And then we've got some pegs on the door, which I really <laughs> like this. Yeah, it's really useful. Yeah. It is really useful. Um, it is a interconnecting door. It is, but it's locked. But it is locked side. from our side. Yeah. <laughs> so then we come into the main bedroom. And now I'm pretty sure. Do you want me to have a look? Mm, if you want. Bear with. There you go. Oh, so there's another mattress so it underneath. Is, it is literally. Oh yeah, there's another mattress underneath. So I think that that would come out and make it, make it into like this a double bed. Mm, not sure about that. No, no, I think it's just a single. I think oh. this is the mattress. I think they're the pillows and everything. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was another mattress. No. Let me just check. No, it's a mattress, that. Is it? Yeah, it goes all the way over there. Oh, so maybe it does pull out then. Yeah, it's like a little little hand that you pull. Oh. I think, I think it does pull out. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I'm pretty sure it comes out and then it makes a double bed then. Right, there we go then. That's good. We just use this for just kind of like collapsing on when we get back from the, <laughs> from the parks. Mm -hmm. So, let's move on to the bed. So... Double bed. Yep. It's not the largest bed. It is actually just a double bed, isn't it? It is, yeah. And and it isn't what we're used to. We're used to cooking at home. So it did feel when we first slept the first night, I did feel like we were very close <laughs> <laughs> together. Move over. Which Damn. is fine. Yeah. Um, but like I was worried about <laughs> you getting elbow me in the face. face. Yeah. But um, yeah, so this is the bed. And to be fair, it's really comfy. It is. When you're in the parks all day and you come home anyway, come home to the hotel room, mm. You're tired anyway. So I one of the things I love about a Disney holiday is obviously you're very tired, but I love the the amount of like Space, good sleep yeah. that you get because you just the beds are so comfortable. Mm. Our phones are plugged in here. So we've got two plug sockets on the wall here. We again we've got an adapter with a plug in and then the US you are USB is coming out of there. And uh, that's what one of the things that we brought with us. Yeah. And also a telephone which we haven't used yet. The other side, you don't get much. You don't get much space, but you do get a tiny little like corner table there. But there's no plugs on that side. Yeah. Um, and I would say as well, like obviously, the person who ends up on this side, it's quite difficult to get out if the other person is still asleep because you can't really fit down there and shimmy along. You have to like crawl or bound yourself towards the end of the bed and jump off. <laughs> Are you referring to me still being asleep? <laughs> no, I said the other person. They didn't know I was talking about you. So, um, yeah, so yeah, I've been sleeping on this side. But it would be really useful to have another plug socket on the other side. It really, yeah. really would, because you've not been able to charge your phone. No. Like, because you don't I mean, have to yeah, it on overnight. I don't charge it overnight. I just like to have it be able to plug it in, like, in the morning or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, it just means I just have to get out of bed and plug it in over here. Yeah. But other than that. So if you just have a look out, this is the window here, so you could be able to see the path. That's our view. Um, so that's the path that you can see on the left there, and that just takes you straight to Disney Village. Um, and a bit of uh, trees and foliage, and there's the other rooms on just on our building. It's also just worth mentioning as well that when you get to the Disney Village, the Disney theme parks are at the end of the Disney Village. So yes. when Aunt said about going to Disney Village, you, that, that's the way to go to to get to the parks as well. Yeah. This cool little corner over here, we've just got like a seating area. Our bags are on it um, at the moment with our purchases. And, uh, uh, and my jammy bottoms. <laughs> Grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got like a little seating area here, which is kind of good for like storing things or having a having a sit on, rather than sitting on the bed. But this is the mirror we we're talking about. So yeah. it's the only mirror in the room other than one in the bathroom. So it's a nice size mirror and I feel like you can see the majority of like what you're wearing. <laughs> but it's in, one, this, it's in a random place, I think. Yeah, it wouldn't fit on that wall. That's no, the thing. yeah, yeah. But one of the things we did say was that we really wish there was a long mirror. Yeah. Like a floor length mirror because we just feel like it's nice to kind of good, especially because a lot of people now are like bringing outfits to wear to the parks and stuff. And even if you're not, you want to see what your outfit looks like before you go. So it would, would have been nice to have a full length mirror, but it's fine. We manage with, with what we've got. <laughs> and it is a lovely big mirror. And I love the theming of it as well. Oh, yeah. It is really cute. It's a big horseshoe and then it has a uh, sheriff. sheriff. So one of the nice features, I think, of the room, and the theming is really, really great, actually. Um, but look at the lamp. Isn't it really cute? <laughs> 
So yeah, we love this lamp. <laughs> it's, it's very it's very cool and I really feel like it's quite a nice feature of the room as well. Yeah. Um, underneath the lamp we've got these drawers. Now this is where, so this drawer and this drawer have the two extra pillows in. So I've used this one now. But yeah. the others are basically just empty drawers. Yeah, the top drawers are open. They have pillows in. They've got something as well, but I'm not sure if it's extra covers or extra pillows. Right, okay. Yeah, so the, the bottom four drawers basically were full of stuff. Okay, but feel free, you know, take them out. Yeah, so I took them, them off and then we just put, put the there. extras up there. Yeah. Um, and then here we've got the TV, obviously, but we've got two USBs, which are really handy. And then a plug here. Oh, it's a British plug. And I didn't realise, and I was just going to say. Oh, I didn't realise. <laughs> They're okay, using all our adapters and stuff, and it's <laughs> right there. Um, which, that's really good, actually. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, we've got a European plug here, too, here. Yeah. Um, and we've got our adapter thing. These are really handy, guys. Like, so if you do a lot of travelling and stuff, these yeah. are really, really good for, like, charging stuff. Well, this one in particular, I, I'll take it out, actually. But this is the the um, European adapter, but you can actually take that off. Oops. <laughs> And then you can put push these down, and then that's the that's the American adapter. Right, it's very good. Um, and then it, it comes with a British adapter as well, so it's it's worldwide basically. Yeah, definitely worth it. Yeah. And then the TV, which I have to say, when we're sitting in Sequoia Lodge, our TV signal we didn't watch TV because no. the TV signal was so bad. Um, there was no channels on there. Well, I, didn't, I don't even I couldn't even tell you what channels were on there because the signal was so bad that we couldn't even tell yeah. what it was. So we didn't watch the TV much in Sequoia Lodge, but there are some um, English channels. We've got BBC News, yeah. the Disney Channel. Sometimes that's French. It kind of like intertwines, doesn't yeah. it? With like, but it's. I, I was really happy with the TV this time. I think it's been great. Yeah. The signal comes through the internet now rather than previously it was an actual aerial. Yeah. Which is why the signal was was it bad because so it was quite stormy last time we came. It if was. you remember, that's what the fan looks like. I think that this switch is for the fan. But when I press it, nothing happens. <laughs> Either that or I'm turning someone's light on and off. But I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So I mentioned as well as the air conditioning. Oh, yeah. So this is where the, you control the air conditioning from. Um, it is on. Is it on warmth at the moment or not? Um, it's off at the minute. So I, I've turned it. I don't know if you can tell on there. But I've turned, I've turned it right down to 17. The lowest temperature you can do it is 17. Um, and then you can you just put it on and then you choose, press the fan to choose the speed of the fan. Um, and then temperature up and down here. Yeah. The other thing I just wanted to mention about the bed, um, it, only, it only affected me a little bit, it doesn't really affect you, but if you're someone that likes to sit up in bed, you can't really do it with these beds because of those lights. Yeah. So I can't, I have, I've hit my head a few times on those lights when I was sat, sat you up. You like shuffle into the middle. Yeah, that's okay. fine. But I mean, like I'm, I'm only 5'7", yeah. so anyone taller than that, which is a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> But I won't be able to sit up in bed basically, so you either stay lay, stay lay down or move to the middle. <laughs> just on the back wall here, you've just got the, the Toy Story theming. Jesse, Woody and Bullseye. And then you've got some books which have some quite fun titles on them. That's where I read them on, they're all really serious. <laughs> um, hey Howdy Hey, The Enchilada Brothers, my first book of horse stories, Aww. and Lasso Law. <laughs> and we get this nice little... I love this. I think that's really cute. It's like Arizona, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Just a quick tour around the bathroom. So we get a sink. Ooh, um, a there's sink. A... <laughs> um, the soap comes wrapped in like a really cute like Toy Story, um, like a Woody's Roundup style, yeah. um, like wrap for the soap. And you also get the tissues as well to kind of match up to tissues. Very cute. Two cups, in case you fancy a drink of water, right? <laughs> hey, to, to wash it <laughs> um, And then we've obviously got the, um, the, the hair, hair dryer. dryer. Now, it's okay, uh, but that would not dry my hair. It's like a hoover more than, it's like a reverse hoover. I would really, because I've got quite long hair and quite thick hair, I would, that would take me mm -hmm. a long time to dry my hair with that. So if, if it's something you're bothered about, maybe just bring your own. But it's, you know, it'll do the job. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, oh, I never even noticed those lights up there. They're, cute, They're quite they? bright though, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so obviously, toilet. Extra towels at the top. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice those. Even this what? When are you sure? You, see, <laughs> you don't see all this things. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, extra towels, yeah. And then we come to the shower. So do you want to get in there? Yeah, I'll just do it. 
I won't get in the shower, but I'll uh, come into the bathroom with you. So it's very wooden-esque. Um, and then the shower curtain has horseshoes on it. Yeah, very cute. Okay. Um, you do get some shower gel, um, which also has the Woody's Roundup uh, theming on. If uh, anyone's interested, the scent of the soap is citrus, which is a very Disney thing to do. They always like the citrus scents. Yeah. Um, and then you get these shampoo and conditioner, um, which we haven't used these because we bring our own. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming that they're also citrus scent. I'm not too sure. So the shower um, is great because obviously I love one of those showers that you can kind of pull off the wall. Yep. Um, it's easier for washing my hair. But what I will say, so basically to get it going, you put this on, I'm not going to do it now because we'll get soaked. <laughs> you flip that up mm -hmm. and then the water comes out into the bath. And then when it's when it's strong enough, when the the um, pressure is strong enough, you lift this, and then that switches it from this to this. Um, so it's really easy to use this way. So to the left is hotter, to the right is colder. Um, what I will say is I like a high pressure shower. Yeah. That this is not that. However, <laughs> you can, you know, I always think it's a bonus if you get that in a hotel. You should yeah, never yeah. expect it because. You just never, you know, you're never guaranteed. Um, but it does the job. Yeah, and water temperature wise, it's always been great. Oh, yeah. It really I felt has. like it was, there's been one day where we got up early, which was actually this morning, I and mean, I felt like it was hotter. Okay. Earlier in the morning. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't make that much difference because I don't tend to do it super hot. Yeah. It's hot, it's hot. It, well, no. it is hot anyway, yeah. It's. I like a hot shower, it's too hot for me. <laughs> That's how hot it is, yeah. Gosh. Yeah, I have to have it on the middle, wow. like in the middle. So yeah, and then you've also got two two pegs on the back of the door there as well. And your closings. Yeah, or a towel. Yeah. Honestly, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be really sad to go home because I feel like it's a really great room. I love how much space there is in here. Yeah, I like the fact that the floors are wooden as well. We didn't yeah. have to show you that, but I'll show you now. Okay. Um, so yeah, the floors are wooden and there's also space under the bed to for store suitcase. your suitcase. There isn't actually a designated suitcase holder, but because the, wo the floors are wooden, you can just slide it under. I think if we were to book again, I think we'd if we were going to go for a uh, like a budget Disney hotel, we'd definitely go for this one over Santa Fe. There's nothing wrong with Santa Fe. We absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this is more us. Yeah. The theming's more us. We love... We didn't, we've not really showed you guys, but we love the outside theming, like the, the way the way the whole um, kind of town looks like a Wild West yeah. scene. It's really, really cool, really cool. We did a separate vlog on um, the restaurant and the bar that's here as well. Yeah. Um, so We'll link that yeah. so you can go and check that out too. And, and in that, we did show some of the... The buildings and stuff to do mm. we so you'll be able to see what it looks like in there but yeah really really good so thank you so much for watching guys if you've got any questions please drop them in the comment box down below we'll do our very best to answer them and um, we'll link all the websites and everything as well so you can have a look at the websites and the different room types they've got as well um so yeah so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all next week bye guys bye.